Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. By now, who hasn't heard the slap that was sounded around the world of actor Will Smith slapping host Chris Rock at this year's Academy Awards? It was done in part because Will Smith felt that host Chris Rock disrespected his wife, actress Jada Pinkett Smith. And with this action, many black women applauded Will Smith for protecting his black woman. I'm going to play you two videos we like to go around and say protect black women, but y'all just don't understand that sometimes protecting black women means slapping the shit out of other black people. Sometimes protecting black women means slapping the shit out of your friends. Okay, so you heard that viewpoint. Now here is another black woman cautioning other black women not to get their black men involved in every single incident where's you feel disrespected listen to this stop calling your brothers and your cousins for every little argument because you women sit on social media you sit around oh everybody yes. killing everybody but you never tell the truth that it's been a thousand shootings and homicides and trickle back down to you running your fucking mouth or you calling somebody and exaggerating because you feel disrespected stop calling people you can argue with somebody on the block that said leave it there you call your brother now these niggas going through it the whole summer and then somebody child die about it that that's your fault okay I'm going to have to go along with the second poster because the whole problem in which I have with this incident with Will Smith and Jada and Will protecting his black woman, please explain to me when and how was Jada's life in danger or how was she threatened? How was there any type of threat of any anything physical happening to her. Explain that to me. Because I'm all for protecting the black woman. However, I'm all for protecting her only if there is a sign of imminent danger. I'm sorry, a name called? Someone calling her a name out of her name does not warrant any type of protection from me. It does not warrant me to get physical for that. And the reason why it does not warrant me to get physical for that is because I'm risking my life, livelihood, and freedom. It does not warrant any black male to get physical or to show violence towards anyone who is just calling a loved one who happens to be a black female, a name. The reason being, you can get locked up for that. And we as black men tend to get a stiffer, harsher prison sentence. And with that stiffer, harsher prison sentence, what's going to happen is that we are not going to be there when a legitimate threat does come up. We're not going to be there when the black woman in our lives do need actual protection. And secondly, protecting them from bullshit like a name or being disrespected. Uh, to me, that's going to warrant you risking a lot of freedoms, a lot of opportunities, such as felonies. You, could, you cannot be in line to get a lot of licenses. You can lose licenses. You can lose the right to vote. You can lose the uh, right to carry a gun. You can lose the right to uh, uh, be uh, an armed security guard. You can lose the rights to a lot of things with a felony. So I think that women need to be very careful about what they're asking men to protect 
or to protect them from. Because one wrong move can put us in jail five, seven, ten years just because you were called out of your name, because you were called a bitch, because you were called bald head, you were made fun of. To me, that does not warrant any protection right there. However, any type of physical threat, obviously, I have no problem with that. Even if someone is advancing towards a black female in my family or someone who I care about, she's going to be protected. And you know how those little pranks that people do, throwing like a rat on someone or a spider on someone? Well, do that shit in front of me to a black female who's in my family. Yeah, you're going to get walloped over the head. So I just think that people need to be very careful about what they are protecting the women from. And black women need to be very careful about what they're asking their black men to protect them from. Now, Tiffany Haddish told people that uh, she spoke with Jada Pinkett Smith after Will Smith uh, slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars. I went up to her and said, you better suck his D from the back, girl. See, that's some BS right there. I mean, are women really, black women in particular, this sensitive? Would you think that someone disrespecting you is worth another man getting violent with him? That's problematic to me. I just think that we have to be very careful about our senses. We really do. And many of these women who are praising Chris Rock, pardon me, Will Smith, rather, praising Will Smith for going off on uh, Chris Rock, for slapping him. Oh, yeah, he did the right thing. Some of them claim to be Christian. They're supposed to be Christian women, followers of Christ. But wasn't, by your opinion, Jesus Christ, the greatest man who ever walked on this earth, but yet people talked about him. So you got to have some balance right there and some consistency. So I just think that we're in an age right now where people are super sensitive, hypersensitive. Everyone thinks that they deserve respect. Everyone thinks that they deserve to be a star. We deserve to star treatment. We deserve for people to bow down to us to love what we are doing. We go to social media. We deserve all these praise and likes. We let this seep over. No one can um, be critical of me. No one can question me. No one can tell me that I'm wrong. So in this whole world that people have to love what we do, they have to love us, they have to like us, it seeps over, as I said say before, to our online activity. No one wants to be told that they're wrong. Everyone wants this praise and glory heaped upon them. And with the least little thing, we have to retaliate or we have to get others to retaliate for us, to make us feel good. Somehow it builds us back up. So people need to understand that lives are put on the line. When you ask people to do things for you that they shouldn't be doing that they don't really have to do, that they could just walk away from and be mature and, yes, turn the other cheek. Turn the other cheek simply means that you'll be around in someone's life for when things really do matter. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is another edition of Stand Beyond and Through with Monty, and I will see you all beyond and through.